Hello and welcome back. Today I have a few items from a Kiwitz that was uh, sent over the past few months. And even here is my uh, Christmas present, Kiwitz with the new logo, the hammer. But the items I have here is a smart multimeter voltage uh, tester. It's the KM201. I have a battery tester, I think. It's for 12 and 24 volts. It's the KVB01. Looks very impressive. And I think I had one already before, but it is a, some sort of a cable clamp instead of those loose wires. You can put a little bus around it and then uh, you can nicely put it under a screw and it has a lot of little accessories with it. So let's start testing. So the KBC01, it's very nice with a lot of accessories. I will um, have some more details on the end of the video. But if we look at the tools, this looks proper. Look at this. Clack, clack, clack. Perfect. Lot of things. More detail. End of the video. Then we have the battery tester. And it's quite smart. And we can see it's a new item because, again, the new logo with the hammer. This one doesn't have that. So I would think this is. 2024 item and this is just before with the old box still let's start with the smart multimeter voltage tester manual english and chinese nothing wrong oh very small and always nice from kairwitz they provided with batteries so you can start immediately they have done this always i like that okay it has little probes yeah, it looks instead of it says multimeter, but to me it looks more like a voltage tester also because the fixed wires and we need a little screwdriver to place the batteries. The multimeter is uh, 2000 counts and it is uh, fully smart, so it will switch automatically from ohm to voltage or AC or continuity depending on what it is measuring uh, the most. It has also, you can change the functions. Um, it is also non-contact voltage detection. It also has live. So then you start measuring with only one probe and then it will detect which is the live wire or not. And there is even a phase measurement. And I need a three phase for that. So I won't do that. But it is nice. It can detect uh, which way it's going. And there is even a hold function and a flashlight for the dark. Oh, this is the backlight. This is the flashlight for the dark. Then the probes. The probes you can hold in the back. It's very convenient for storage. Maybe it's even more like a voltage multi-tester than it actually is a multimeter because also with the wires in the bottom here and the clip here, you cannot replace the wires. Maybe with the silicone wire it would be nicer, but these are soft. It, 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 it seems okay. And if you think oh, it's terrible that these cables are directly connected, you cannot replace them like in a normal multimeter. Uh, there are more companies that did this. This is a fluke voltage multi-tester. They also click it in the back. Yes, the cables are better quality. I agree. But it's also 10 times the price. So you would expect it a lot better. Okay, well, if you look at the probes itself, for the higher voltage, you have extra protection. You can take that off also. And, well, let's have a look at the display. I'll switch it off. Will it do very fast the uh, ohms? Yes, it did. And the display lights green. So probably it is safe. And it is uh, indeed a few ohms only. have my DMM Check Plus for 100 ohms. Yeah, it is 100 ohm. I will put the big light on. Oh. Big light on. Yeah. Uh, the lowest is kilo ohms. 
one guy. You see how fast it detects? Ten guy. For an autometer, this is quite impressive that it detects so fast. I have also voltage here, so let's switch to DC. Switch it on. Voltage. Very fast. Puff. The smart function is super fast. And it says it's DC, so let's switch to AC. Will it also be that fast? Puff. Look at that, how fast. And it's through RMS, because it says 49999. Wow, how fast it detects. Now come back to arms. Puff. And still, now the backlight is on. Still, if you do continuity, it gets green. So, it is a multi-light backlight. Pretty cool. Let's see, do we have some more colors in it? Uh, it's all security, so I need to try to... Yeah, there we are. Look at that. It becomes red because it's dangerous. But also it detects super fast. Let's try some non-contact uh, voltage. Yeah. Does this guy well? Yeah. Okay, then we have... Uh, the other function that is live. I think you only, you hold one in your hand and the other one you probe. This is apparently the face. No. You don't hold this one. And here it detects nothing, so this is the hello and this is the face. Okay. Then we have the hold function. I'm not sure if it is a just a hold or a peak hold. So let's have a look if I press hold and I go up. No, it is just a normal hold. Is it any good? This takes a while. Maybe that was not completely fair and I am also looking at the capacitor of my power supply. So let's have an another voltage meter here. To see if it maybe takes that long. Uh, now clearly this one is a lot faster. When we actually look at the values, it is not bad at all. Look. So as uh, fast and simple it is to test, it is also to operate and the smart function is super, super fast. I'm really surprised how fast it detects if it is uh, ohms or voltage or AC or DC. And uh, the multiple color display is also a nice extra. When it is red, okay, be careful. It's a higher voltage with continuity. It uh, becomes green and then you have your normal white uh, backlight. And uh, the sample is a little bit slow from the voltage meter to actually uh, give the right value that the voltage you are measuring. Um, but it gives you in the end the proper value. Just a nice uh, little device to put in your toolbox if you quickly want to measure something. Then let's have a look at the battery tester, the KVB01. Nice new box. I like the new logo. The design is just... A little bit nicer somehow. I don't know, it speaks more to me. Then, uh, yeah. Nice. We can hide with it. And, ooh, this is a big cable. This, oh, wow. Here they did use the silicone, or almost like silicone. Wow. Yeah, it is super, super soft. Well done on the cables. I like it. I like this new soft that is uh, suddenly more and more available on all the equipment. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, and some big clamps.
I did not receive my battery yet, but uh, maybe I can do some testing with the power supply. Uh, it doesn't have batteries, but because it is a battery tester, if it doesn't light up at all, your battery is probably empty, so your first test is already done. So in that sense, it is uh, good. So let's put the uh, 13 in a bit. Yeah. And what can it do? Now, there are a few tests. Standard battery test, a cranking test. So probably if you start the engine, if there is a little drop in voltage, there is a low test probably to check if the alternator is good. And there is a charging test. I'm not sure, maybe if you use an external charger instead of the alternator. No lift off yet, so the battery I'm testing right now is empty. Well, let's see. If we connect to my power supply. Yeah, here it comes. 13.4. Well, that's around battery power. So what can we do? We have enter. We have this is a menu. Okay, do we have 12 volts or 24 volts? Well, clearly we have 12 volts. We can do a battery test. Not sure what that will do. Uh, maybe it can do a measurement of the resistance because these cables are so thick. So I'm not sure what they do or they, I, I, I can't imagine that they do a very heavy load for a long time for this little device. Then we need a very big resistor or so maybe they do a short uh, pulse or uh, what type of battery is it gel. I think it is a lead acid. Maybe that's this one. I don't know. I just select this one. And what type of standard? Well, this has an E, so probably is a European. I don't know what this means, but let's just go. Testing. Yeah, it is still beeping. It says replace your battery. And the uh, resistance, uh, it says here, is uh, 37.4 milliohms. We can stop. It will test again. But we can see here, boop, it does a short peak. So the, probably there is a, a, a FET there that does a quick short circuit or just to see how fast it responds. Okay. Interesting. A cranking test. Okay, it's good, it says. I probably need to now start uh, the engine or something. But it already says good. A loading test. Then I need to enter and ramp up the car. I'm ramping up the car. Good. Okay, now I'm doing 30.8. Yeah, and now it thinks it's uh, good. And if I do a 12, does it say it's bad then? Yeah. If you're renting the car, the alternator should put more voltage and uh, it will see that. And then the same with your charger probably. And if I put it to shoot in with while charging it should go a little bit up. Yeah, then it thinks it's good. Okay. Well, that was a very quick test, and I, I can't do a proper test without my uh, battery, but it still didn't uh, arrive. But uh, yeah, it looks uh, pretty cool, and again, I like the cable. <laughs> then we have this box, the KDC-01. I really like it. I uh, use it a lot. I'm very happy that Kaiweed sent me one before, and uh, it has a, a little wider stripper. Don't necessarily use this one a lot because I just have a normal plier, but it comes also in the kit, and this is really proper quality. 
look at that guys I like that I really enjoy this uh, kit a lot and um, well, I have a video that I will display now where I uh, connected these wires but look how this looks it is just proper and before it had all these little wires with copper going everywhere sometimes even making a short uh, contact the thing I did wrong in that video uh, <laughs> the viewers told me um, you need to strip this long enough the copper part because when you push it in and it doesn't come out here yet it needs to go all the way to the end to make sure that your contact is all the way in the in that little pipe and this is too short because it doesn't go to the end so we need to strip actually a little bit uh, longer and then you push it over and then with this nice you hold it and it is just it will find out the pressure itself and look at this but again this is wrong because the copper should almost go out or just be exactly the same uh, length amazing to see how Kawit uh, I think they started with laser measure equipment going more and more in electronics and they make more here yeah, this is a really cool stripper this is a stripper this is a stripper they get more and more also in the, the hand tools and they actually uh, are good quality so that's it thank you for watching Hope to see you next time.